Hello again, whiskey friends. Thanks for joining everybody for another Whiskey Wednesday. And an epic one it is. I am ready to cook some good whiskey with the blending challenge that we have on today. So I got on my, my apron just in case I make a mess. But we got Jason C. in the back. We did this last year where we each drafted a bottle and then during this hour tried to figure out what blend we wanted to submit to a blind flight that we then did over on the mash and drum. So be sure to come over to the crossover event. We'll send everybody to Jason here, you know, at the top of the hour. But if you have them, I'll do a quick recap here before we kick off. Jack Daniels, number seven, Old Forester 100 Rye, Evan Williams, 1783, and Knob Creek, number nine is today's blending materials and we're going to see which of us can out blend the other so thank you for joining us today whiskey friends let's kick off the show Well, we got a lot to do, a lot of blending to do. So let's pull everybody in. Kelsey, I'm going to start out with you. What is going to be your favorite ingredient to blend with tonight? What do you think you're going to use more of? I don't believe you. Yep. You think so? It's a change, but yeah. Oh, man. Wasn't expecting you to say Knob Creek. I know, right? I don't necessarily like beam, but I tasted this bottle and I was like, okay, I can get with that profile. So that's what I think I'll use more of. That's what I think. All right. Well, next let's bring in Durrell. Durrell, what's going to be your favorite ingredient tonight? What do you think? Keeping that secret. Near and ah, dear. dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've been messing around with some ratios. I haven't even really try it like i just cracked that old forest the first time ever having it so i was trying to get a good gauge of what these taste like because three out of the four i've never had uh so <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be fun all right see Darrell caught on he knew i was trying to get information out of him early here I had <laughs> no intentions of devolving my secrets <clears throat> well let's bring on the guest of the hour let's say hi to jason <laughs> oh man look at look at those oh, official uh, are, we, are we not supposed to be blending yet <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's world <laughs> as long as jess has his uh tylenol cups we're ready to go i do i got my stack of tylenol cups there oh you my go. goodness i am oh ready my for my precise blends dude this is yeah. the one tool that's all you need it's the one two for everything. Little syringe. What, what I say up. earlier, as long as so yeah, Darrell will be able to blend, and if he's feeling a little bit, you know, <laughs> under the weather, he could take some liquid Tylenol. <laughs> I got the kids over here. I give him a couple shots to calm him down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shots of, of shot, shots of whiskey? whiskey. Yeah, yeah, medicine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tylenol or whiskey? Yeah. Put some Jack Daniels number seven on the gums, right? Isn't that how yeah, that works? A little bit of both, right? Yeah, my grandmother, my grandmother used to do the uh, old sambuca on my gums. That's why I hate black licorice. Oh, geez, <laughs> yeah, I can't do that either. Yeah. Oh man. So this is uh, this is going to be my main ingredient tonight, or is it? Mm, if yeah. that is, I'll be impressed to see what it actually turns <laughs> out. <laughs> right. Oh gosh, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. I had a. Pretty rough day, but today's gonna be good because we get to blend and drink whiskey. So, yeah. Then wake up early for a flight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that three o'clock's gonna come real early because I still gotta pack. Yeah, I'm not even sleeping. My oh, schedule is set so crazy that I go to bed at like three, four anyway. So, like, I'm not even gonna be in bed. All nighter. 
going in hot. So, <laughs> so everyone in chat, I'm picking uh, Kelsey and Darrell up at the airport in about 14 hours. So we're setting ourselves up for uh, some early success tomorrow morning. Liquid IV, people, <laughs> liquid IV. That's what it's there for. Yeah, I got a couple bottles of water over here, man. I'm going to prep the prep the liver. Liquid IV, you guys need caffeine and Red Bull, for God's sake. <laughs> Well, Jason, you're our reigning champion on this, so the the pressure that's is on he us. Stole my blend last year, that's all. That's all it is. He stole my proportions, so I had to change mine. That's what it was. I I stole your proportion. How did that happen? We had the exact same proportions. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That happens. <laughs> Great minds think a lot. That's right. Man, that's right. You, you should have stuck to your guns, and then. I'll I'll Rick take Darrell and I would have been like, these are too similar to win. And then we would have disqualified I'll, both of you. <laughs> I'll take 90% of the win because Kelsey let me have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love hanging out with you, Jason. <laughs> so, everyone in chat, if you have these bottles, hey, blend along with us. Once again, we're doing the Knob Creek nine year, the Evan Williams 1783. The Old Forester Rye and the Jack Daniels number seven. Do we have the blending sheet, Jeff, where we're doing proportions by I pound? will I will get that I will get that blending sheet ready. I'll get a spreadsheet okay. ready for us. So I'm gonna create a Google Doc, everybody. That way we can post it. And then you can then, if you want to, follow along with even the blends that we're gonna do over on the mash and drum later in the month. Yeah, I'm doing 20 milliliter blends. I think that's what we did last time. Yeah, do your uh, those amongst the 20 milliliters. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, good. That's right. Good milliliter, or how many, uh, 80 milliliters total? Huh? How many total milliliters? 20 per sample. Just just do 20 per sample. If somebody wants to make more, okay. they got the proportions, but just keep it to 20. It's a nice, yeah. easy number um, You know, to record. So 80 uh, milliliters total should be the sample. 20, 40, 60, 80, right? No, no, no. 20 per blend. When, when, you when you record your proportions, just do it up, add it up to 20 milliliters. Okay. So if you wanted to do a fourth, a fourth, a fourth, yeah, it's just okay. five milliliters, five milliliters, five okay. milliliters. That's what I needed. Okay. Perfect. So I am set. All right. Organize as I'm going to be. Well, there we go. So everyone, I will post that Google Doc later if you want to follow along. Keep that in mind. Now, for Super Chats tonight, we're not doing Super Chats. We will do a giveaway. What we're going to do instead is direct you down to the GoFundMe uh, in the link for Cheech. And then we're going to give stuff away for that. So Darrell, uh, why don't you go through what you have, Kelsey, what you have. Um, okay. I can go. Um, I got two yeah. bottles, guys, that I'm throwing in. I have the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is the A122. And I have another one of those seven-year copper and cast picks that will open to me that a few people has got gotten already in some giveaways. Really good pick, um, but throwing both of these in tonight for Cheech. That is killer. All right. And then Kelsey, right. um, I'm going to do a um, sample giveaway, and I think that I will do. Let's see here. Oh, uh, Stag Junior's uh, sample giveaway. So I'll do the last four batches of Stag Juniors. All right. I will do a flight of every ECBP batch I have open. That includes the pirate bottle, batch 10 behind me. And my oldest of the ABC batches is like C917. Uh, but in total, I think there will be about 12 different samples in that flight. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you got all the good years. You got the the night the 18s, 19s, 20s. <laughs> yeah, I'll just work my way up. And if I have more batches, well, there'll just be more samples. Yeah, that'll be a banger, banger flight. Yeah, some of those batches are pretty nuts. <clears throat> and then yeah. the giveaway portion we'll do at the the back end of uh, Jason's stream, or Jason, yes. whenever you want to do it. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll have some um, 
I'll have some some bottles I want to give away that I'll mention as well, um, including the new Mash and Journey, our newest uh, Peerless single barrel, two years in the making. I'll do one of the uh, the Rise, which is the Loch Ness Rye. Um, and I think I got a couple of other things I have to see if I still have or if they're open or not. If not, I could just do a flight. So let me think about it. Yeah, cool. Maybe I'll just do a whole flight of a bunch of Mash and Journey picks, and that should be fun. I'll do some of the old school ones like Houdini and um, and, and Spice Jam and some other fun ones. Ooh, All right. So for this mini fundraiser, you know, we'll keep track of everything from 8 p.m. Eastern on uh, and then just do this mini one for tonight in lieu of doing anything else. So go support Cheech. Saw a good update from him. He looked like he was in better spirits. He still yeah. had braces on his hands and whatnot. But uh, hopefully he's on the mend and we'll help him. We'll do what we can to help him get there. All right. So I am good here. Sorry. All right. Still playing a little bit of catch up. I think I'm good. Should we scroll up and say hello to some people? You guys set to yeah. start London? Why don't you go up say say hi to some people here, Darrell? I will uh, catch my breath and... I haven't had a sip yet today, so this will I'll get acclimated <laughs> to our uh, blending ingredients here real quick. I can do that. Yeah. Is there, did you guys, Jeff, did you happen to pin the GoFundMe link in the top of the chat? The Oh, I can do that. Um, Katie, yeah. Ethan, if you're watching, can you, oh wait, I think I have to pin it, don't I? Yeah, yeah you have to pin it, but. Let me get into that. And I'll pin that at the top of the chat. Good call, Jason. Yeah, and while you're doing that, let's see, we got Top Dog, who's first in here. Cheers to you, buddy. Mr. Franchi himself is in here. Jason, what's up, buddy? Stacy H. Brian's here. Tim Corne is here. Russell's here. Adam Major Zero. Cheers, buddy. Coming for the belt, man. We're gonna we're gonna kick some butt in a couple weeks on Dan's. <laughs> going you're going down. <laughs> no. And it's a win it. I've been I've been doing all right lately. We'll see. It just got to hold true when it actually really counts. <laughs> Christopher David, cheers to you. The greatest Turk of all, Katie. Cheers to you. See you in less than twenty-four hours, man. It's gonna, it's gonna be fun. John Cloud is here. Who else is here? The, the other one. Uh, I forget his name, but cheers to you, sir. <laughs> the other one. Up, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> the other Turk. The other Turk. The tall one. Sugar Let's Kitty's here. Oh, okay. Luke Stevens, Gandy Road. Who else? Shauna Marie D. Here you. Dude, you got to say her name like I do. <laughs> Shauna. I can't, I can't even emphasize like a New England accent like that. No, it's not. hard for me, and I'm right over here. Shauna. The New York accent. Shauna Marie D. <laughs> Shauna. I can't. It's so hard. You can't even do that, Jesus. I can't. It's like so hard for me to do. <laughs> Joe, the sample guy. Who else is here? The bourbon jerk. JG as well. Whiskey cheers and cheers to you. Great Scott. Who else? Adam Shelton, another face I'll see very, very, very soon. Nate Cox. What's up, buddy? Let's see. Luke Stevens. Who else is here? T. Jarrett is here. Jeff Perkins. Dana Wack. Miss Wack, cheers to you. <coughs> this. Soon enough, soon enough. Got a couple meetups in the works. Wise guy, Stu. What's up, Stu? Hey, hey Stu. Hey, Long time hey, no see, buddy. Travis Robeson. Who else is here? Toshi Bake. Cheers to you. Look like your trip went pretty fun was it kentucky i believe you were in right doing some crazy stuff toshi bay yeah toshi bay chill will rocco cheers to you buddy be on the lookout you have something that got sent out to you today mr ritter himself executive producer cheers to you buddy who else is here I think we're I these small there. beakers are easier to use, but I'm pouring shit all over the place. <laughs> ben Dramon is here. JG is kicking us off with $10. Let's get this started. Top Dog is in oh, yeah. for as well. Got you there, buddy. Yep. And any of the super chats that come in, I'll add those and I'll give those. I'll add them to the donations too. So if you do super chat, um, 
prefer you to go to the GoFundMe though. That way, different cuts don't get taken out of it. But I yeah. got I got you too, JG and Top Dog. But please use the the other link. Oh, you yes, may use the go, yeah, use the GoFundMe so YouTube doesn't steal our money for Cheech. Yeah, yeah. Because GoFundMe takes, I think, twenty on top of that. So we're looking at you know a cut from YouTube, then that portion gets over, then it's another cut from GoFundMe. We may be able to just disable the super chats and just send you guys over because it's it's pinned, right? Oh yeah. yeah, I can do that. Make it a little easier on this end. Yeah, uh, I can do that. Dennis, cheers to you, sir. David Smith's here too. Let me just catch up. Baker drinks. Not sure if it's Troy or Laura, but cheers to both of you if it is. Bourbon Hunters here. Mark Ellens. Cheers to you, Tom Shanley, John Crams. Jeez, it keeps going. Actually, nope. I said that and I'm at the end. Look at that. All caught up. <clears throat> Only took about right. like three minutes. So I got everything poured up here. When you guys are good to go, we can kind of mess around with this. Um, God, I'm really, do that. <laughs> I'm really anxious to see how this tastes because, like I said, I only tasted one of these bottles prior to like this past week. So it's gonna it's gonna make for an interesting group right. of blends I'm over here. Yeah, I'm I'm uh I have like a mindset in mind. I'm kind of sticking with it and just like messing with some proportions and seeing what happens. Yeah, I, I drew up four four proportions. I'm gonna start with those and you know, see how they go. I don't know if they're going to be good, but, you know, I'll probably just take the best one or maybe just tweak one a little bit. Um, but, yeah. I like this. <clears throat> this will be fun. Just make uh, sure I can't drink too, too much so I'm not, like, freaking hungover on the what? plane <laughs> play ride in the morning. <laughs> you got plans tomorrow? What is this? <laughs> yeah, just, just a couple. I'm all packed up, though. I'm good to go. You know, I did everything as soon as I got back from dropping the kid off at practice. So I'm ready to have a couple pours and ready to hop on a flight and see you guys. Yes. Two of you, at least. <clears throat> I'm, always, I'm always, always, always so jealous when you guys are going to hang out and I can't be a part of it. I love hanging out with you guys. Yeah, we'll get to hang soon. I got know. your meetup. Um, that may be the next time I actually see you. September, yeah. D, what sport is he playing right now? Uh, Jaden's uh just a football guy, man. That's all he okay. wants to do. Yeah, flag football when it's cold, tackle when it's the right weather. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's that's all he all he does. He likes like soccer, but he's good at football. He's not really good at soccer. <laughs> Our oldest is a soccer player. He plays high school varsity. He's been doing that like all his life, but Jaden's only done football and a little bit of bowling. Yeah. I like watching his, uh, I like watching his highlights. Oh dude. It's so much fun. I can't wait for the season. His first game is actually Saturday and I'm going to miss it. I'll be in Indiana, but I'll catch the rest of them once I'm back home. <clears throat> They're playing football now. Yeah, so he's been – they've been in practice for the past, like, two months. Yeah, his – this league starts this Saturday. Um, it's a shorter league, then it transitions into the fall league that starts around, like, September. Yeah, it's just to keep them in pretty good shape. <laughs> so when they get back in the fall, they're, they're good to go. <clears throat> Right. Hey, Scott. Uh, good to hear that you're going to go home tomorrow. I know that we're all thinking about you and hoping oh, uh, gosh. Yeah. Re your recovery fast and getting the insurance all sorted out, man. Good. Cheers, buddy. <clears throat> and I see you, Scott. Hold first. Uh, let's do this. Um, one teaspoon. I got to mess with this a bit. Guys, so anybody that doesn't know the bottles we're messing around with, it is... Um, Evan Williams, 1783, Old Forester Rye, not the barrel proof, just the standard rye. Knob Creek, nine year small batch, not single barrel. And the uh, Jack Daniels, old number seven. Knob <laughs> Creek. So if you guys have these bottles at home, uh, yeah. See if you uh, if you come up with anything good, let us know. Yeah, join along. And then, <coughs> let curious. us know in chat if you are uh, following along with us. 
That's what I was about to ask. Who does have these bottles? I'm curious. It's going to be joining us today. I got to mess around with that. Make sure I get my ah, proportions this, good. I think this is a combination of bottles a lot of people actually may have had, or if this was the excuse to finally get them get a Evan Williams 1783, they can see how good it is. <laughs> it's a solid bottle, man. I was that actually... bottle is, uh, it's definitely become an everyday type of pour for me when I'm just, you know, looking. It's that bottle where it's kind of gotten into like my wild turkey 101 like stack like where it's like i don't know what the hell i want to drink so i'm going to grab this so it's usually like wild turkey 101's in there cooper's craft is in there and i think evan williams i could throw in there too just just like bottle that the cooper's either oh my god <laughs> Like there's a lot of like shelfer stuff that i just haven't i love i love how everyone talks about cooper's now i i I, I think that I'm proud to say that I, I started that trend. Dude, it's when I tasted it for the first time, I was like, I can't, the 100 proof now that it is. That I'm yeah, the 100 proof, the 100 proof. It's got to um, be the 100 proof. But man, that's such a good pour. And you just don't realize how good it is until you don't drink it for a while. And then you go back to it and you're like, oh, wow. Especially when you've been drinking too, right? bougie, bougie uh, whiskey for a while and you go back to that pour, you're like, oh, shit. That's <laughs> a good pour. It's MGP. No, no it's, it's, uh, it's Brown Foreman. Oh, I didn't know that. You know, they use uh, like a chiseled and charred barrel to get a little bit more oak on it. It's really good. Gotcha. You have to try it. I don't think that I don't think it's local to me because I've never seen it. I've seen people drink it, but yeah, it's got a weird, it's got a weird distribution. It's not exactly available everywhere, but yeah, yeah. I don't have it here. That's, I have to go out of state to get it, which sucks. <clears throat> like next state over or like far to get it for you, Kelsey? Um, Tennessee. So the next state over. Okay. Let's do this. It's actually a little bit more difficult with the ratios I chose to to do this. Damn it! I mean, I might need some more glasses. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. four yeah, with. Friends. I'm like, oh, let's switch this and switch that. Um, I have to start using my beakers as glasses. Uh, how do I do? Is this? anybody in chat uh, blending with us? I haven't seen anything yet. All right, Cheech is here. Cheers, Cheech. Cheers, Cheech. Up, what up, Cheech it on? Uh, oh, you're right on time, man. Right on time. All right. Hmm. This is interesting. Are you are you ta you're tasting some some of them already? Oh yeah, I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing how they play together. Yeah, so I'm yeah, just yeah. kind of mixing two milliliters, kind of doing 50-50 combinations of each one. So who's doing? Yeah. Who, who's utilizing the? Uh, who's utilizing the Nancy Fraley pyramid of successfulness? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> no. I'm just like messing around right now. We'll we'll see how it comes out though. I'm gonna. I'm almost done with the four pours. I need yeah. a syringe for the JD7, though. That's one thing I do need. It's... And we're going to place these at a second and see Man. how Ooh. it is. I don't hmm. know how people drink that straight. Ugh. The Jack? Yeah. <laughs> what, the Jack? Is it that bad? Straight it is by itself. Ooh. I haven't had it straight in forever. Like, it's always been, like, with Coke for me. <laughs> I can't even handle it with Coke anymore. You said you can't? I cannot. No. Nope. No. Too much banana? Well, just too too harsh. Like I just I have to like barely put me in there because it's so bad. Here's I can't I'd rather drink Coke. Yeah, it's not that bad. I don't know if I get banana on Is it interesting, yeah. Jeff? A little interesting. <laughs> little interesting. AKA that's bad. <laughs> per Jeff. It's got it's some, it's got some all right qualities. Yeah, that's so thin though. Actually, well, no, one of them sticking to the glass a bit. Actually, I might have spoke too early. 
<laughs> yeah, a little, a little, a little more viscous there's, than I would have thought. Like it's actually creating a, a little halo around the glass. Which there's I a thought combo that makes points it when it had. Yeah, there's one of these that that adds some more viscosity to it than the others. That's what I was kind of experimenting with too. Probably that not. So Jeff, so Jeff, I watched your uh, your Heaven Hill 18 review. This bottle right here. Was, <laughs> ah, that was. Uh, yeah. I was very, I was very confused by your reactions, but then it made sense at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a perplexing. I don't know. Usually, I have some notes to react to before I just record it. I was like, ah, oh, this will be fun just to do it on the fly. I picked a very strange bottle to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, the, one, the entire video is like 30 minutes long of me trying to do it and then edit it down halfway. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, so over two minutes long, Jeffrey. So overall, um, I, I think you kind of thought what I thought. Um, I I enjoyed kind of the beginning palette of it. Um, not the mm -hmm. beginning palette, like the mid palette. I thought was very good, but then it just. It just gets it gets really oaky and dry. For 120 proof, I think it drinks way under its proof. It's a little bit too delicate and soft for me. And I don't know. I wasn't that big of a fan. I I sure as hell wouldn't pay. You know, sure. I don't even know if I would buy one. Go out of my way to buy one at retail. So, nope, not after tasting it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Darrell. Oh, Darrell yeah. and I kind of the same thought process too on it. Mm-hmm. I definitely got a funky Glenn. That's Kelsey was oh, comparing God, it to Black really? Saddle at one point, oh, so I, I was trying not to hear too much. Good old Black Saddle. I'm telling you, man, for a 12 year old uh, Heaven Hill, it kicked that 17 or 18 years ass. I can tell you that. <laughs> did Darrell just say thick in the mouth? I think he did. <laughs> Where's Katie at? Katie, I hope you, ho I hope you heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Katie That's wrote that. that. <laughs> so, yeah, just who, bought, a, who bought a number seven just for tonight? That's a good question. Did anyone have to go out and buy one? I, <laughs> I actually I had one. I didn't think I, I didn't think I had one. I uh, I'm like, when the hell did I get this? I guess I had it. So oh, shit. Now I can put it in a blind flights that I give Kelsey and Darrell, you know, oh, God. See, how it, see how it stacks up later. You you do that. Remember paybacks twice as bad. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Paybacks twice as bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to throw some Johnny smoking gun at you. Oh, no, gosh, just give him the experiment. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, guys, make sure that you, uh, Instead of doing super chats, just a reminder: we're going to be doing a fundraiser for Cheech. We're going to be doing a bottle giveaway, some flight giveaways. Uh, make sure that you uh, check out that GoFundMe page that's pinned to the top of the link uh, as well. So make sure you guys jump over there and help support our buddy Cheech. Cheech, hot on. Um, Mo, yes, we will post the blends uh, during. Jason stream. We're just trying to figure out the blends and then we'll blind everything um, to see who's going to make the best blend as well. Then we'll do it at the end. Yeah. I'll record everything in a, <clears throat> in a Google sheet and then we'll share that, share that link. Oh shit. I'll tell you what the big, the, even though Darrell won blend again, the blend that's been causing the most uh, like, Holy crap. That's awesome. Blend. Is JT's, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. two the two part, right? What was it? Sagamore, uh, Sagamore cast strength, and uh, what the hell was the other component? I'm sure JG can actually. I think I have the write up over there. Yeah, his was just a little, a tad bit easier to, <laughs> <laughs> to recreate, which made it a little easier for everyone. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> yeah, wild turkey rare breed. And uh, Sagamore Rye Cast Rank. It was a 60, 60% Wild Turkey Rare Breed and 40% Sagamore Rye Cast Rank. That's it. And nice. I've, I've gotten so many messages about people doing that blend and saying how awesome it is. If anybody doesn't want to do this blend and hasn't done JG's um, 
blend again and blend, I, I would advise you to try this out. Again, 60% wild turkey rare breed and 40% Sagamore rye cast ring. It's pretty damn delicious. I always wonder with something like that, like what was JG's inspiration? I'll have to ask him at some point. Like, why did you go with that one? Or was it just an accident, you know, <laughs> just go around mind. mixing some things and all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's actually pretty good. Jason and I have a, a secret blend that we don't tell people about, but um, <laughs> I'm telling you now, if I could remake that all the time, oh. I would drink it every time. Sure. It's your Shanks burger. I know exactly what no, you're talking about. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not the Shank burger. It's a secret blend that only he and I know about. Well, Scott knows too, but yeah, Scott knows about it, and it's and like you're pretty like some crazy you, shit. Like when you were pretty, you pretty much you pretty much yeah. can't replicate it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, some split label mixed with this or that. <laughs> It's a split label mixed with a uh, Weller Gold Vein, mixed with a uh, cheesy gold foil, mixed with an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Pirate Bottle. It's it's very easy to make. <laughs> no, it's actually only two bottles, but yeah. I'm digging a nose on two of these. Like any good blend, it was quite the accident, but it was definitely worth the accident. Ask Kelsey about our dusty blue eye, says Adam Shelton. Oh, shit. That was a good one. We uh, He had a Christmas turkey bottle from 85, and I had a 1977 turkey decanter, 8101, and we did 50-50 on it. Holy cow, that was good. Wow. That was really good. Getting closer, fellas. To what you want. <clears throat> I, I really like the nose on the last one I blended. I haven't tasted it yet, so I'm hoping that it comes across. Yeah, my, my first blend I thought I was hoping would be better than it was and not. Yeah, my second, dogs. My second one the nose is kind of nice, but just comes across a little youthful on the palate. Granted, all this stuff is pretty young besides one, right? But Luke, I haven't made that particular one. But I did do <laughs> Coy Hill and the limited okay. release Jack Daniels barrel proof rye, like the very first barrel proof rye that they did as a okay. boo rye. Yeah, um the uh let's see J Du Boo Rye. Yeah. Who did I talk to that's coming out with a boo rye? Am I allowed to say that? I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> Am I allowed to I say see. what company is coming out with a Baride? I'm not supposed to say what it is. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> Wait, did I sign something on that? What Wait, did I did I agree to <laughs> an embargo? I can't I can't think of it. Uh oops. Uh yeah. Jeff's quiet over there. Mm. I found <laughs> a nose. I found a nose. I gotta see if I can find a... That's yeah. something that tastes a little better. But I'm yeah. getting close. I'm I'm circling in just like Kelsey. Man, this this um the nose on my third one here is pretty pretty delicious. I hope it smells as good as it. I'm sorry. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. That's what I was gonna say. I'm gonna put that one to the side for some comparison. Yeah, JD is doing another Koi Hill release for sure. Um, there's a couple of interesting whiskeys coming out. Oh, still, wow. I'm still surprised at a lot of the new labels that I see popping up on um, on TTB that are still hitting the market, like labels I've never seen before. I'm not sure if these are brands that are going to be out on the shelf, if they're more boutique style brands, but there's still brands coming out with stuff. And I think, I think what we're I think what we're seeing here is that with so much whiskey right now being that that's aging. I think a lot of the a lot of the NDPs that are still in the game are going to start having access to some crazy barrels because bourbon numbers as far as sales has been on the decline a little bit. I mean, not much, but I think I think it was down four or six percent last year. So it'd be interesting to see where it goes and if these NDPs yeah. start getting these crazy barrels. I mean. It either goes to the NDPs, it goes to new SKUs, or it goes overseas. 
Mm -hmm. That seems to be the the strategies these days. I don't think anyone wants to play with prices of existing brands anymore. It still seems to be like learn from Heaven Hill and don't mess with the price of existing labels. Just make a new one and then you can come up with any price you want. Yeah. I don't know, Ethan, man. This is tough. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you're in here, please make sure you hit the like button. I don't, I don't like, know. Please, please uh, like, it, like the video. Okay, yeah. I, I've got mine, I think. Pretty you sure. got yeah. yours already? Yeah. He's committing early. Look at that. Yeah, you are committing early. Damn, dude. Yep. I had yeah, an idea um, in my head, and usually when I start with my original idea, and I, if I flip flop things around, then it usually works out pretty well, and that's what happened. So, uh, Jason Slapshot Roadhouse, can you highlight that comment? I yep. gotta I can't yep. kind of read that. Master John, I saw Bourbon Real Talk video from your bunker. There was a flag on the top shelf. Care to share the special meaning? I have one that was flown over U.S. Capitol in honor of my granddad. Yeah, so um, I don't know if you know one of the patrons we have, at least in Master and Journey Whiskey Club, and that's Sergey. So, <laughs> Sergey. Sergey is. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure when he was. I'm not sure if that's when he was still with the Space Force or not. But he's on Space Force, and the dude, like Sergey, is no joke. He like. Um, he uh, he inspects like nuclear weapons for the U.S. military. Like it's like no joke. Um, but before that, he was flying refugees in and out of uh, war-torn areas uh, over in the Middle East. Uh, you know, I think this was like a couple of years ago. So he would send me photos of like him being on the huge cargo plane, like giant planes carrying hundreds of people trying to get, get them out to safety. And um, he had told me that a couple of the guys that, that are in his platoon or in his battalion or his crew, I'm not sure what you call it, they were, uh, they were watching my channel. So what he did is he had all the guys uh, from his group sign uh, the, the the he signed like a paper that came with the flag and then he folded the flag and sent it to me and he said this was flown um, this was a flag that was flown over in the plane with all of us uh, like that was at the uh, the military base so he was kind enough to send that to me so I um, I got a little display case for it. I thought it was one of the, the best gifts I ever received. It was amazing. So every time every time I kind of look up at it, I definitely, um, I don't know, I just think like how important stuff like that is and to tell those stories. And I'm, I'm trying to find like a good spot for it in, in the whiskey room. It shouldn't be in the bunker. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was really like when I got in the mail, like I couldn't believe it. It was so freaking cool. It was signed by everybody. And the flag is beautiful. And, you know, I didn't want to unfurl it, obviously, because the way they fold it into that triangle is so tight. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, America. No, that's super cool. It's a lot of stories that go like I'm talked about, you know, like me being in the military. There's like so much stuff that just the average person doesn't know that's really going on, which is kind of wild. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy, crazy stuff. Like, yeah, like you don't, yeah, you don't hear about that stuff. And like, and like it was so funny too. Cause he was just like sending me random photos. I'm like, like, dude, where the hell are you? Like what's happening right now? <laughs> like, are you on a plane? Like who are all those people? He's like, these are refugees. We're like, we're getting them to safety. And we have a whole huge plane, like a cargo plane, like a military cargo plane full of men, women, men, women, and children just getting them out of Dodge. And I was like, dude, you're you're literally like you and your crew, man. You're literally heroes. And he's like, oh yeah, they, you know, he he has a really thick Russian accent, which is hilarious. <laughs> so he's like, yes, they watch your channel every day. So he's just like <laughs> And I was like, that's amazing. So they all signed the thing and sent it. Oh my God, it was that's awesome. Oh, yeah. And the best love... part, we got to meet. I got to meet Jason and him when we did the turkey pick. The best yeah. part about hanging out with both of them is that uh -huh. Sergey loves to hear Jason do him do Sergey. And man, <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, and the more the more I'm around him, the better I get at it. So it's like right now, it's it's a little <laughs> bit off. But if he was talking right now, I'd be all over it. Yeah, I buy a case of that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jason, you you pick this battle. I buy a whole case, whole case. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Sergey. Oh my gosh, I miss hanging out with him. He was fun. 
Now, do we have to use all four bottles in our bottle? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Mal, yeah. Is, is the Jack Daniels killing your blend? Yes, it I is. Assume, <laughs> I assume the answer is yes. I was hoping Kelsey was like, no, I only use three. And be like, no, if you have to I use have, four. I use all four. You got to use all four, buddy. All right. All right. I'll tell you what. Actually, what's interesting is I added a little bit more Jack to my blend and it improved it. So now I got to <laughs> figure out why that happened. Yeah, and I got You're a bad liar. In this one and I You're actually, a bad liar. I actually really like this one. And <laughs> this definitely has some Jack in it. So my the one that I thought was the best nose is the best palette for me too out of the four that I kind of did up. Oh man. Um I don't really know if I want to like Wait. add a, a different one of them's really bad the third one I did. As soon as I took a sip I was like nope. Like I did 25% of one one of the specific bottles in I think it this just one, tore up the blend. This one right now, I think, is my winner. But I, I think I have a couple more blends I want to mess with. But that one, some that one's got something. Yeah. This is. I, I blended know. all the other ones together, and it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. I think so what I'm gonna. I think, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of different alterations on my kind of my best blend here and see if I can refine it at all see what happens all right now jason yeah last time we did this you then broke away started your show we came back at the 10 o'clock hour and you continued to blend from nine to ten <laughs> yes. and then you submitted something else at the last second none of, of that course wow, that's of, of course i did <laughs> we had two of his blends like in the flight. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not, I'm not gonna say I didn't do that. I did. <laughs> oh, man, I was like, wait, what's what the ratio is this? He's like, uh, no. So, so so uh truth be told, I actually did that when we did the maker's mark pick back in the day when we did the blind speaks. Everybody was like, Oh, set on this blend, set on this blend, and I'm like, wait, I have a last minute thing I want to try. And then I put through that one together, and that ended up being the that ended up being the pick. <laughs> ended up being the winner. So my so my last minute blends, uh, you know, I, I might have one at the last minute here too, guys. So beware. <laughs> oh, there's our. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Oh, I didn't see Fancy Franchi earlier. Cheers, Maureen. Cheers. Look at Maureen. Look at that glamour shot. Looking fancy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm good with this blend. I like this one. No, do not take all your blends and blend them together. That's not how you get the winner. I promise you. Mine tasted horrible. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blend the blends, and then we have no idea what the ratios are. <laughs> I got my ratios on my my number one. This is number four. This one's really bad. No time at all. All right. I'll tell you guys. Don't do. 10 milliliters of Old Forest, the five Knob Creek, and two and a half of the rest of the two. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty bad. bad. Huh? Yeah, it's not good. Damn, you're doing halves? I don't have that kind of time. Well, like my my little thingy breaks up like two and a half. Um, oh, that's right. Your, uh, your kid's Tylenol. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easy to be precise and efficient. Mr. Here's Richie Z. I didn't see you pop in. Hey man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dogging on your your method, blend again, and champ. So, <laughs> all right, let me let me try let me try this. Oh let's yeah, that's really bad. bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Back oh. To see if it was gonna like be a little better with some air. Oh, I miss these guys. Cheers, Black Bourbon family. I didn't see you. Yeah. Sleeping. Cheers. And Jason welcome Brian. back to the fold. And thank you for finally finishing that bracket. Jeez. Or making progress <laughs> on it. <laughs> He's like Sheldon Cooper. He needs some com some some final closure. <laughs> None of the bottles were even the same by the time they redid it. It was just the same label. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, just got to hang with them in Chicago. They are, we had a lot of fun. They're yeah, that looked like a good people. time. I would love to hang out with them in person. They seem like they would be so much fun to hang out oh with. Oh my them. God, we laughed all night. It was awesome.
by the way, for those that donated mm. to my beard fund, it is coming back in. It's not a baby face anymore. So thank you for the super chats. I know. Please, please keep that when I see you tomorrow. Uh, I will. I will. It was a little <laughs> freaky. It freaked a lot of people out. <laughs> Right. Now, everybody, as you can see floating at the bottom of the screen there, we are doing a giveaway over the course of the night. We'll extend it over into the mash and drum as well. But instead of doing any super chats, please donate to Cheech's GoFundMe. We will look at the donations starting at 8 p.m. Eastern and then you know track them from there. Uh, Darrell has a few bottles that he's throwing in. Kelsey's throwing in a flight of Stag. Uh, I'm throwing in a flight of... Elijah Craig barrel proofs, but it will be every open batch I have, which includes batch 10 of the pirate bottles, but also there's probably 12 to 15 other batches over there in the corner. Uh, so it'll be a epic experience to be able to walk through time. And then uh, Jason had some of the, uh, the, the new peerless picks too. So there's a bunch of bottles in there and who knows, who knows what we'll do by the end, but please, please donate anything there. I appreciate all the support. JG, you crack me up, buddy. Can we call that the Kelly Clarkson fund? So we go, oh, Kelly Clarkson. Oh, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I love that movie. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I, I want to know, Brian, when you're just going to do the mustache again. That was I liked it when you just had the mustache, bro. Oh, it, look, it looks so weird, though. I was so used to not like that. Then when you guys <laughs> just pop up with, like, no hair, I'm like, wait, what the heck? <laughs> Bro, Tommy did it one time. Brian, you did. I'm like, oh my god! You, know, you just feel accustomed to seeing everybody in their norm for so long that just that one change of just shaving some hair—it's like a whole Ooh, makes a big difference. Yeah, that yeah. went, that went, that went bad. Really? Yeah, that's okay. what I see. Like, I'm like, I should just move C out of here. I'm just gonna place that over there. That one's not good. Mm. <clears throat> yes, sir. I got like a little cherry note on Mine A, just which is kind of weird. Y'all keep y'all keep messing with yours and screwing it up. I'm gonna stick with what I got. I'm good. This is my winner. I'm just kind of tasting through like the other two. I don't know. You don't have. You do not have what it takes. Let's try this one. <laughs> it's like you're the weakest link. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Luke, it's not a certain amount per in uh, Is it five dollars per entry, like total? Like, is it how many mm -hmm. entries we're doing? Yeah, yeah, okay. five dollars. Five dollars per will be an entry. Yeah, so if you yeah. give a hundred dollars, call then, that Luke. Yeah, whatever. That's how oh, we'll I, do have, it. Ooh, I have two very nice blends. Now, now these have to sit. I got to see which one gets better as it mingles. Oh, hold on. I actually may have to try that again. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, my first and last one. Creek. All right. <clears throat> you want to talk about um, your upcoming releases? I know you got one on Friday. Um, anything else you want to mention while we're finishing up here before we have to jump over to yours? Um, uh, nothing really. Uh, yeah, we, we're releasing. So if you guys haven't heard anybody in the Master Training Whiskey Club, we are finally releasing our three peerless picks, the ones that we picked over a year and a half ago. Um, so those have been found and they do exist. We just tasted them for the first time, uh, tonight and they're, they're all just so good. Um, and we can't be more excited to bring that to the group. And what's, what's great is the prices of them. The two bourbons are only 81 99. I know that sounds expensive, but for peerless, peerless is usually over a hundred bucks. So yeah, that's actually in peerless single good. barrel that you buy at the distillery is 125 on the minimum. So. Yeah. So the, so the two bourbons are 80. <laughs> So the two bourbons are $81.99 and the one rise, I think is like $97.99. So rise always is usually, usually a little bit more expensive, but those are usually like $125. Bucks, so yeah. Um, after that, our two ASW picks out of Georgia are coming, which are gonna blow people's <laughs> socks off. Um, they're so stupid good. Um, and then we have our three starlights that should be following after that. One is the French oak, French oak honey uh, combination finish. Um, one of them is a Turkish apricot single barrel, and then the last one is a PX sherry that tastes like mm. chocolate covered raisins. Um, mm, that sounds and, so good. And then somewhere in between, our Green River single barrel pick will be dropping, and this is the one of the first runs with the at cast strength. 
So not proof down no. to 119. This one is at 122, I believe, 125, something like that. I'm so excited about that one, man. And then um, and it's actually and it's actually the oldest one that they've ever released, too. So we'll have we'll have a really good barrel for the group. Um yeah, and then uh stay tuned because tickets to the next Mash and Journey uh fall jam, fall ball, not sure what we're calling it. <laughs> That's uh, we got a date for that, which is going to be Friday, September twenty seventh, and uh, and Saturday the twenty eighth. So, no um, weddings, Jeffrey. No weddings. On that <laughs> no. I'm going to make it work. It's going to be like a four weekend roller coaster that Dana will kill me. He'll, he'll idea, make your make weekend work. work. He'll make your weekend. Well, work. I mean, we'll we'll probably do the same thing because we'll probably be down there for the event, and then we'll probably head back for Bourbon on the Banks too. So, nice. That's the one. That's the one I'm missing. No. All right, so you guys, you guys think you landed on your your blends? Mm -hmm. I know I have. Mm -hmm. I'm tweaking yeah. still. I'm tweaking. It's coming down to the wire. Travis ropes. Travis ropes and wants to call it fall brawl. <laughs> oh, you did. That's the whiskey war you were reviewing a second ago. I got yeah. you. So that one, and then this one. <clears throat> Yeah, so you got the the honey. What's the other one called? Sweetie. There yeah, sweetie. Who picked those? Uh, David from Two Bros One Bottle. It's on my hat. Um, his group picked that. Picked two of them, and really, really good picks. Um, the more I drink from from them and Watershed, <coughs> I drink in Watershed. That those Ohio distilleries, man. The more I like them. They're, they're just putting out some some really good stuff lately. Yeah, we're picking uh we're picking one in June, but we're waiting we're waiting to get the double double from uh, High Bank. So nice. They said yeah. they'll be ready. He said they'll be. Adam said they'll be ready in June. So that's where we're gonna go pick those. Nice. That's still Very my cool. favorite bottle cool release picks. so far this year. Is that the latest double double blend? I love that thing. It's so good. Hey, there's Jaden. <laughs> that was my oldest. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, he's a lot bigger than <laughs> Jaden's actually showering right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He just turned 15. <clears throat> see, the last, see, the last blend I did ends up being my favorite. Look at that. The one, that was the last for me. It oh, took out God. that first one I made. So this is this is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. I'm, st I'm sticking with it. I wonder if any of us have the same proportions. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm also looking to the fall brawl. This is what we're calling it, guys. Okay. The fall brawl. I like we'll that. A, uh, we'll put a we'll put a boxing ring in the middle of Bartstown Bourbon Company. It'll be great. <laughs> we'll just put a wrestling wrestling ring and have Jeffrey and Darrell dress up, and we'll they'll do a, they'll do a wrestling match. I could wear my team. Macho Man outfit. I'm just gonna say Jeff would definitely be Macho Man. Darrell, who would you be? Oh God, I don't even. Know. <laughs> I'll throw in a wig and be. Actually, no, I can't do. God, I don't even know who I would be. I used to watch wrestling back in the day too, like hardcore man. Well, who you know, was your like, favorite wrestler? Who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Like early, early growing up, probably. I don't, I don't care. Just, just give me a wrestler. I liked Bret Hart. Oh, uh, Bret Hart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. could see you wearing a purple like <laughs> wrestling mankini. Why not? Sharpshooter man. <laughs> we used to wrestle in front of my house, and I would freaking put people on like the figure with, four and the sharpshooter. With the, with the shit. Oh, the figure four. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Flair. Yeah. yeah. My uh, my uncle, my uncle Joey, uh, who had Down syndrome, he was um, he was so into wrestling, and he used to definitely use me as a as a wrestling dummy. And you got you guys know like like kids with Down syndrome are freakishly strong. <laughs> He used to he used to toss me around like a rag doll. So mm. now there's Jake. somebody if we can get to come to uh and we call it fall brawl, we'll get the Norseman in the ring as the ultimate warrior and then put <laughs> Jeff in the ring as Macho Man. <laughs> I like that. JG, that's JG that's elbow drop off the top. JG, that's messed up, man. <laughs> what do you, say? you can be on at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! So many few off. All right, I think I got it. Mom's forehead. Mm. 
<laughs> That's getting better and better. All right. This is the one. Yeah, that sent you her baby. It was the same size, but your head was smaller. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, my favorite wrestler, I think, was Ultimate Warrior growing up. I love Ultimate he was, Warrior. He was cool too. I loved how like incoherent his interviews were. He would just say the crazy <laughs> stuff. He used to shake the ropes, right? That would be him. Like, get yeah, him. he would shake the rope. <laughs> yeah, I love I love Macho Man. Uh, Ravishing Rick Rude was awesome. Uh, definitely Jake the Snake. And my favorite tag team was. Uh, who was the which one was Hawk and Animal Legion of Doom? Yes. Yeah, Legion the spikes, Doom. right? With the red, yeah, and yeah. The spikes. Yeah. They, they were they were my favorite tag team. Yeah, I was uh Stone Cold and uh Goldberg, those were two of my favorites. Oh, I liked yeah, Razor Ramon. that era. I liked Razor Ramon. Oh, Razor Ramon was the man. Yeah, I think he just passed away too. Recently. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Jason's been watching all of the uh, you've been watching the History Channel do the biographies of all of the wrestlers yeah i like recently just got back into wrestling because i was um you know i was kind of like out of it for a little bit and then i then i saw all the stuff that happened at uh wrestlemania and i kind of watched monday night raw the other night and i kind of got back into it and i was like oh man this is this is pretty cool so i mean there's a lot of wrestlers i don't know that i have to keep up with but yeah it was a killer event i enjoyed the weekend thoroughly yeah. You watched it uh, from the comfort of your own home? Oh, yeah. I watched all 10 hours of it. That's Was it 10 hours? It's a lot of hours. Just about. <clears throat> With all the pregame stuff and everything. It starts oh, yeah. at 6, ends at 11. Each night, the, Saturday the, and Sunday. All the pre-wrestling stuff? Yeah, you got to gotta listen to him do the, you know, the speculation. Like it's ESPN or something. All right. It's time for proportions. Jason, <clears throat> why don't we take yours down first? Since you yeah, got three yeah, minutes left. Change here. Mine while you're All right. So I'll give you mine real quick here. Uh, 15 milliliters of Evan Williams. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. How are we scaling that down? Oh, wait. Never mind. Go ahead. I haven't. What? Maybe scaling didn't... it down? I didn't even scale no. it up yet. <laughs> no, but like you got a total of 20 milliliters, milliliters yeah. in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 15 of Evan Williams, three of Knob, and one of Old Forester and one of Jack. Oh, Ooh, the emphasize the Old Jack. Forester. All Dude, right. Our freaking proportions are so close again, Jason. Really? Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, what, what do you have there, Jeff, just, uh, just to make sure what, what you wrote down? One Jack Daniels, one Old Forester, 15 Evan Williams, and three Knob Creek. You got it. Nailed it. All right. All right, guys. I will see you on the other side in a bit. I'm going to send you the links via email, so take a look out for it, okay? Okay. Gotcha. Thanks, buddy. All right. All right, cool. See you soon, guys. All righty. Uh, Kelsey, what's yours? Mine is 12.5 milliliters of Evan Williams, three of Knob Creek, 3.5 of the old forester and one of jd <laughs> everyone went with one of the jd i didn't all right Ooh, all right darrell what do you got i doubled that Ooh. <laughs> six milliliters of old forester so six milliliters of old forester 1783 in knob creek and two of jd Ooh, a more even blend there okay like, I had a lot of crazy, like, different variations, but that one, like, the finish on that's actually pretty wild. Like, and the thing is, right, like, the highest proof here is 100 proof, but this thing drinks, I think, like, closer to 110 with, like, the mid and back of the palate. Like, it's pretty, it's, it's good. I haven't obviously messed around with anything close to what you guys did with, like, the high proportions like that so far. Um, yeah. So I'm curious if my finish is going to stand out because. Both of you guys went really high on the Evan Williams, which is 90. Which is interesting, right? Uh, <clears throat> Darrell, I'm closer to you. I'm somewhere, well, maybe in the middle. I don't know. Mine might be the highest proof, actually. Uh, I'm 11 of the KC, one and a half of the Evan Williams, six of the Old Forester, and one and a half of the Jack Daniels. So you're more like a true boo rye than... 
<clears throat> yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. It's more of a, what's, what's weird. Is third, did, third on the boo rack. I did start with mostly knob Creek and for me, blending that with some of the other things together at such a high, um, high percentage, it just came across not as what I wanted on the palate. Like it wasn't as viscous. Like for me, unfortunately it's weird. The 90 proof to me is the most viscous out of all four of those. Fourth place has to chug. <laughs> number Fourth seven. place we, has to chug. Number seven. We may okay. be able to incorporate that. <laughs> I think we can handle that as long as it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't come in last. We, one of us got to beat Jason. Like, I don't care. Got to be Jason. Who loses. Yep. Just we can't have him beat it. Come on our channel and beat us twice. We can't have it happen. <laughs> I agree. It's all on yeah. you, Blood Getty Champ. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna be hey, the one in last place. So. <laughs> I, I got a shot at this. I'm gonna take him down. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. No, one of us All gotta right. do it. But yeah, I'm gonna rinse out some glens once we wrap up here. Yeah. Get yeah. these proportions. Are we gonna get this out? How are we gonna do this for so, chat? So Actually, we will. Uh, do we? I'll get a link, and then we will. Um, post it over in Jason's. I'll post it in our Patreon too, but we'll post it in chat over at Jason's. And then uh, let's see. I'll put some, I'll get it, I'll get it down in text form too. That way we can just copy and paste it into Jason's yeah. chat too. For anyone that um, can't access the form. Yeah. Now, you just got the link for us guys in your emails, just FYI. So make sure you check your email. So we'll get into that. I got one giveaway to do for our Patreon. Uh, so let me share screen real quick. But this is for a copy of the flight that we will be doing next week. As a preview to next week, we will have the Turks on. And we'll get to reminisce over what we're doing this weekend as we go to Backbone, go to Hard Truth, and have some uh, fun shenanigans. But I created a flight, and as I was doing it, I was like, heck, I can pour another one. So... There were a couple people that entered here, and let's see who gets it because I got to get this thing hand delivered to them right Thanks for away. Out of his channel, Andy ah, Road. Andy Here's Road. Buddy. Congrats, buddy. Actually, I can go a different route with you. Okay, maybe it will be a hand delivery. Uh, so we'll be in touch there. Congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. And can't wait for you to get to explore this flight as well so everybody that's still here we got 74 people still in chat it is time to jump over to the second half of this crossover event go over to jason's and on jason's we will be doing a blind flight of these four pours as we mix them out so i'll get these recorded and out to everybody in just a moment so thank you everybody cheers and we'll see, see you, you next wednesday Cheers, everybody. Jeff, just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you 